typically are used to compute the economic capital which is the capital that is set aside for addressing the credit risk. So just to understand a brief over it, whenever we are talking about the credit risk, it is primarily to do with either the non-payment or delay in the payment or the rescheduling of the payments, whichever are promised initially, both the interest as well as the principal repayment, whatever were promised initially as a part of uh, the initial loan agreement, either a delay in payment of that or completely default in payment of that or rescheduling of that. All of them are typically coming into the credit risk. Along with them, any kind of credit quality changes, migration in the credit quality. So, some uh, a rating agency giving a A rating compared to a AAA rating that was there before that. We are at the time of uh, initiation of the loan, let's say that particular uh, borrower having a AAA credit rating versus after a certain point, the credit rating worsened to A. Even that is a part of the credit risk. And any kind of changes that occur even at a broader country level also are working out as a part of the credit risk. And all these credit risks typically to the lender, in majority of the cases, bank being the lender, it provides some kind of economic losses to the lender. And what we see is the banks are also aware of some portion of the losses. It's not that uh, uh, lending as a business does not have any kind of default at all. Lending by the very nature of its business, there will be some level of defaults that generally those losses generally are predictable and they are inevitable as a part of the business. Just like any other business risks are inevitable as a part of any other uh, regular businesses. As a part of the lending business, we see some portion of the losses are inevitable. And by observing the historical data, by observing the patterns in the data, banks should be able to predict these losses quite comfortably. And those losses with the banks should be able to predict, should be able to uh, Estimate based on uh, the historical uh, data are typically classified as expected losses. So the bank can very well expect for these losses and whatever the losses that it is expecting, it can set aside what is called as a loss reserve or based on the expected, it could very well do the pricing of the loan accordingly on an individual basis. If the bank really perceives that this particular uh, individual loan is more riskier compared to the average, probably the interest rate for that particular borrower could very well be increased but still be accepted. And it might very well possible that uh, a few of those kind of risky uh, borrowers may very well default on them. So there is some amount of expected loss for the bank. but the major concern is unexpected. See, any loss that comes, which I have already predicted in the beginning, there is nothing much. I have taken enough care and uh, I am protecting myself. Whereas the unexpected losses are the ones which are more and more uh, problematic and, the, uh, and they need to be a proper mechanism to compute them, measure them and take necessary action. So, overall, if we are looking at the process of determining the economic uh, capital, initially, from whatever the data that is available, first find out the expected loss in monetary terms. In dollar terms, first find out the ex expected loss. So, what is the mechanism? What is the formula? We will be looking at it. We will try to understand first the computation of the economic expected loss then using the expected loss, we'll try to find out for each individual loan, for each individual loan, what is the unexpected loss?
स्टैंड अलोन अनएक्सपेक्टेड लॉस मीन फॉर ईच क्रेडिटर्स व्हाट इज द अनएक्सपेक्टेड लॉस दैट इज कमिंग अप एंड जनरली फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पर्सपेक्टिव दे हैव नॉट जस्ट वन सिंगल लोन दे हैव अ पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ लोन so what is the contribution of each of the each of the individual loans as a part of the overall portfolio that is what we are looking at an expected loss contribution to the portfolio which means we'll first will compute the overall portfolio